a wholesaler, an acquisitions wholesaler, and I were talking about something and I trust him and I don't think he's trying to pull the wool over anybody or sell anybody bad deals. I'm trying to help him move deals, but I'm unsure what he's doing. I'd like to tell you what he's doing and maybe you can explain it to me in a layperson's version. Sure. Tell me what's up. Um, so he said that he has built relationships with 30 counties in Texas. 30 counties? Yeah. 30 counties in Texas. Okay. The deal is he will be getting his hands on properties that I guess have gone into foreclosure for tax liens in okay. these counties and they will need to be sold. So, but he says that the, the turnaround time is very quick. It's only 10 to 15 days. So they won't be able to go through a title company, which I'll let you weigh, on, weigh in on that in a second. But he sent me an email and it said, the deals we are looking, to, looking at include mainly single family residences that are in danger of foreclosure or imminent foreclosure. Usually our window is about two to three weeks. Because of the tight window, going through title companies is virtually impossible. We do the title research in-house, and I'm very confident that we will discover any snakes in the grass. We disclose all abnormal abnormalities if found. We normally buy and sell these, but we are fully capable and willing to assign the contract if it's more beneficial for, for all parties. So do you agree with the statement that it, there isn't enough time to go through title? No, you can get a title report back in 48 hours on a rush, you know, and if he's able to get a title search done in-house, then a title company is able to get a title search done. Okay. So I said, are you, so are you getting these properties pre-auction? And he, he said, no, they're still going to auction. So I don't understand what he's doing. <laughs> what they're doing is tax sale. They're buying tax liens. I've done this before. But a tax lien is redeemable. No buyer wants to buy a tax lien until after the redemption period is over. Now, the redemption period on a tax sale is usually five years. So here's how it would go. You buy a property on a tax sale, you pay off the taxes. That Say you bought the, you bought the property for... And here's probably why they don't want it to go through title. And, and this is why it has to go through title, okay? Because... Say you buy a property on tax auction, you're behind on your taxes, $5,000. So somebody comes in and they pay off that $5,000. Now they've bought your tax debt, okay? So they essentially are the lien holder and they have a right to the property. So what this guy's trying to do is sell the property for the amount that they're paying off on the taxes. And he doesn't want it to go through title because no one's going to insure that deal because there's a five-year redemption on it. And almost 99.9% .9 of the time, they they get redeemed, right? Because I've been behind on my taxes before because my taxes have been going to the wrong address. Sometimes what happens is I buy a house, there they send the tax the tax notice to the wrong address. I don't get the notice, and then I go behind. And somebody goes and pays my taxes for me. Then I get a notice that my taxes got paid by somebody else, and I pay them off. So if somebody went and made a transaction based off of buying my or paying my taxes, whoever they sold that note to would be out of luck. So until a redemption period has been met on a tax sale, there's and there's no deal there. Secondly, unless a deal goes through a title company and, and, and a, a title is insured, there's no deal there for us. So I'm not saying that there's not an opportunity to work with this person, but there's not an opportunity for us to work with this person under those circumstances. So let me rephrase to make sure that I understand. Yep. So my house, I'm behind in my taxes, a thousand dollars. Yep. The county says I'm going to foreclose, and investor guy says, "No, county, I'm going to pay her a thousand dollar taxes and become a lien holder on her property." But they get now a, the property. They get a quick claim deed. Okay. Oh, isn't that terrible? It's terrible. That's why this is that's why this can't go through title. That's because these those deeds are not insurable. Okay. So I'm an investor. I think I own this property that I paid off a thousand dollars for. And then you go but, to me for five for a hundred and fifty thousand. And you tell me, hey Jamil, we can't go through a title company because I only have a quick claim deed. Okay. 
then I buy and, it for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, thinking I have the deed, but I don't. Because if that person in the next five years comes and redeems that, they get the title back. They get the deed back. So if I, the homeowner, pays off that thousand dollars to the county in a year, then and usually in five years, then the investor who paid one hundred fifty thousand dollars just lost one hundred fifty thousand dollars because I get to keep my house and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Correct. Yep. Okay.